guys, it's Landon from topbysurveyor.org. You guys missed me, didn't you? I know you did. We're going to do some math today. We took a little break from math. We did some geography. Back to math. We're talking about right triangles today. Right triangles have a special place in the heart of every surveyor, right? Along with spending time in the mountains and eating good food. We love those two things, and we love right triangles. It's a funny thing to love, but maybe after this video you'll understand why we love them so much. So what are we going to talk about in this video? I wrote it down because I didn't want to forget. We're going to teach you what is a triangle. Pretty basic, right? We're going to talk about what makes two triangles, triangles similar. That's a special term, similar. So what is it that makes two triangles similar? We're going to talk about what is a right triangle, special kind of triangle. We're going to talk about some special properties of right triangles, what makes right triangles special. It's one of the reasons surveyors love right triangles is because they have some special properties about them. And then uh, we're going to tell you why do surveyors love right triangles? How do we use them? We use them in surveying all the time. So if you want to be a surveyor, you got to love right triangles and you got to know how to use them. And then we're going to talk about some of the things you can do with right triangles. We're not going to do, we're not going to teach you in this video, but we're going to do other videos. We'll tell you about what a couple of those things are. All right. Okay. So let's get to our first question. What is a triangle? Triangle is a closed shape with three straight sides and three angles. That's it. Simple definition, right? It's not complicated. Three sides, three angles. Three. 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 Just like I like to go and get three tacos from the taco truck. Okay? Three. That's why we call it a tri. So the word tri, angle, really comes from tri. It's two, it's two pieces. It's a compound word. Tri, three, angle. These are the angles. Okay? A square is also a closed figure. It's what we call polygon in geometry. Triangle is a polygon. It's a closed figure with straight sides. But it's not a triangle. Why? Because it has four angles. It's a quad angle, not a triangle, right? Okay, so simple definition of a triangle, close figure or polygon with three sides, straight sides, three sides, three angles. All right, so what are similar triangles? All right, well, let me teach you about that. So let's say we got this triangle here, okay? And this side right here is 10 units and the long, and this side is 2 units long, okay? And this is some angle here. We're going to call it angle A, okay? We don't know what it is. I can figure it out, but we're not going to worry about that right now. It doesn't really matter, okay? 2 and 10 units. Now, let's make a bigger triangle by extending these sides out, okay? So now we've got a triangle that's 20 units long, okay, and instead of two, it's four units, okay, so the bigger triangle has a side that's four and 20, the smaller triangle has a side that's two and 10, okay. This angle of the big, bigger triangle here, this angle is still A, so the angle's the same, okay, now the sides are longer, but you'll notice the ratio or the relationship between the sides is the same. So if we say, what's two? divided by 10, okay, 2 divided by 10 is 20%, okay, 20%, okay, this is also 1 -fifth if we simplify this fraction, okay, that's the ratio of this side to this side. Now look, if we do that on the bigger triangle, what's the relationship between 4 over 20? So 4 over 20, you'll notice it's the same, 0 0.20. 20% or one fifth. So if a triangle has the same angles, if a triangle has the same angles, then they're similar. Okay? In other words, their sides, their angles will be the same and their sides will, will have the same relationship to one another. Okay? Similar triangles are really powerful and we use them in surveying on occasion. Okay? So that's what makes two triangles similar. Okay? Now, if we had it, if we, if we put this, if I used a different color here, and we said, hey, we're going to run this up. Instead of being four units, it's going to be five units, and we come up here another unit, and then overlay this like this, okay? 
the purple triangle and the pink triangle here are not similar. They don't have the same angles and their sides don't have the same relationship or ratio. Okay. All right. Now, let me give you one other quick rule about triangles before we talk about right triangles. This applies to all triangles, not just right triangles. And that rule is that the interior angles of a triangle always sum up to 180 degrees. Okay. So if you add angle A plus angle B plus angle C, those will always equal 180 degrees. And this is called an internal angle because it's inside the triangle. Okay, if I use a different color here, you can also measure the angle on the outside of the triangle. Those are not internal, those are external angles. And surveyors need to know both of these things. We use, them. We use these rules when we traverse. Okay, but this is the rule. A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. So these angles will, will always sum. So if you know two of the angles in a triangle, you automatically know the other one, right? So if this is 40 degrees, and this is 60 degrees, okay, that's 100 degrees, what does this angle have to be? 80 degrees. Okay, so if you know what this rule allows you to do, if you know two angles of a triangle, you can always figure out the third, right, with some addition, subtraction. Okay, and surveyors also use this rule. You can extend this rule to other kinds of polygons. It's called the N minus 2 equal 180 rule, which just says, if you take the number of sides of any polygon, subtract 2 times 180, sorry, that e that's going to be equal to the sum of the interior angles, SI. Okay, we'll talk more about that rule right now. You don't have to remember it, but I just bring it up because it uses this basic formula, this basic property of a triangle, and applies it to all closed polygons, okay? Not just triangles. So it's an interesting rule that we use in surveying when we try and calculate what we call angu angular mesh closure. Okay, we'll talk about that. That's later in another video. All right, so let's talk about right triangles. Right triangles are special, very special, and we love them, surveyors. Okay, so let me tell you what makes a, a triangle into a right triangle. Okay, just remember, if you're a surveyor, any other any other kind of triangle, if it, not, if it ain't a right triangle, so it's the wrong triangle. <laughs> surveyors love right triangles. Okay, so a right triangle always has one angle equals to 90 degrees. And by definition, if this angle is 90 degrees, these two lines are what we call perpendicular. These lines are perpendicular to one another. That's a special term in geometry. Okay. It just means that the lines intersect at 90 degrees, perpendicular. We like perpendicular lines because they're easy to measure. We can, do dip, we can do math with perpendicular lines. Okay. So a right triangle has two lines that are perpendicular. It has an, an angle that's 90. Okay. These two other angles, little a and little b, can be different depending on the length of the size of the triangle. Okay, but that's what makes a right triangle. It has to have one angle that's 90. Okay, now, what are some special properties of right triangles? I'll give you a couple. There's this rule in geometry that says, let's label these sides. So we're going to call this side A. And we're going to call this side B, we'll call it big B, big A. Okay, and this, this longest side of the right triangle is always called the hypotenuse. I don't know why we say hypotenuse, because we like to make math hard, hypotenuse. I don't even know if I can spell it right. Okay, just remember, hypotenuse means longest side. Yeah, wouldn't it just be easier if we just said longest side? That would be easier, but we like to make math hard. Okay. So we've got side A, side B, and the hypotenuse, the longest side. Okay, here's what the rule says in geometry. Okay, and what, just to make math more complicated, people usually call this longest side C. Okay, so what the rule says is, it says the length of C, the hypotenuse squared. Okay, and don't worry if you don't know about squares yet, we'll talk about them, but it says C times C, that's what squared means, is equal to A squared plus B squared. Okay, so what that means is if you take the length of B and square it and add it to the length of A and square it, that's going to be equal to the length of C squared. All right, that sounds really confusing. Don't, don't worry, we're going to do a whole separate video on Pythagorean theorem. That's what this is called. It's named after the guy that came up with it, Pythagorean. I always forget if it's an N or an N. 
It's an in Pythagorean theorem. Hey, don't worry about it. We're going to do a separate video that talks just about that. We'll work through some examples. But what it means is if you have a right triangle and you know two of the sides, you can always figure out the length of the other side. Okay, and that's cool because remember we talked about if you know two angles of a triangle, you can find out the missing angle. Now with this rule, if it's a right triangle, if you know two of the sides, you can figure out the other side. Surveyors use this all the time to solve math problems. Okay, that's, that's one of the reasons we love right triangles. Okay, so this is a special property of right triangles. Okay, this is also some, another special property that these two lines are perpendicular. Okay, and then there's also something called the right triangle altitude theorem, theorem okay, or RAT for short, a RAT theorem, which I actually learned about today. I may have learned about it at school, but I forgot about it. But it's pretty cool. We're going to teach about that too, just not in this video. Okay, but those are two, two special properties, right triangles. You can use the Pythagorean theorem. You can use the right altitude triangle theorem, and the two lines are always perpendicular, has a 90 degree angle, okay? So just remember those are some special things about right triangles, okay? Now, why do land surveyors love right triangles? I'm gonna tell you why we love them. We love them because they show up in surveying all the time, okay?